first glance, you only see part of the picture, so we hope this next story will help you put things in focus. Look closer. Here's Sean Giggy with tonight's WFAA original. If it was something I wanted to do, I'd just go do it anyway. For as long as he can remember, 32-year-old Desmond Blair thought he wanted to be an artist. Okay. And for as long as he can remember, people have told him, think again. People are going to talk about you, but you can spend your time worrying about what they're saying or you can spend your time getting better at what you want to do. The problem for everyone else wasn't the dream. It was the dreamer. I got, that a lot. I got used to it a lot. Born without it. hands, Desmond spent much of his childhood in the hospital. And that was like normal. Still, he insisted that was no reason to give up his dream. The quickest way to get me to do something and prove you wrong, and not only prove you wrong, but like shove your face in it, was to tell me I wouldn't be able to do something. Which meant doing everything to prove them wrong. A big fan of superheroes, Desmond would spend hours drawing his favorite characters. He even found a way to turn his bullies into art. I turned people into supervillains and my own little stories and stuff like that. And I would just, you know, have fun with it. Every workstation that is in the hospital. Desmond got to be pretty good, but eventually put his dream on hold for a job as a project manager at Scottish Rite Hospital, the same hospital that took care of him as a child. He's been managing the IT systems here for about five years now. But no matter how busy he got, he never let go of his art. Make it look like something. Desmond picked up his brushes and continued painting. Yeah. Whenever he wasn't at work, he was painting. Pretty much just where I started. People on the other side of the canvas still questioned his like, ability. It, like you can see it in their face. They're like, oh, how? Like, how do you paint? They're like, well, maybe he does abstract art. So. But for those who have come around, they can see his gift. Yeah. Desmond can do without hands what a typical artist spends a lifetime perfecting. It's like I got used to people telling me like what I wouldn't be able to do, so I just go do it anyway. <laughs> his portraits are so real, so authentic, that his work has been sought after all over the country. <laughs> he still works at the hospital, but has been successful enough with art, he could make a living of it if he chose to. Like whether you have hands or not, how often, with people like Desmond, do we focus on what's not there and fail to recognize the potential inside? Fingers, no fingers, it doesn't matter. Desmond's hope is that his paintings will inspire us to look beyond the surface, to see the beauty underneath. Do you notice the fact that I don't have hands or are you more concerned about the quality and content of my character? So. What do you see? Each one teaches me something. And it's John Giggy. Channel 8 News. It's amazing what uh, hard work and dedication and believing in yourself will do. Desmond, you have some special powers. Well, they used an app to get a ride, and now they have a whole pile of medical bills. Next to 10, right.